Hi, I'm Weston. I love talking about the Jets, or so I tell myself. And I'm here to talk about week two. The Jets lose 30-10 to in a tar and feathering exhibition to the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, that was real bad. Um, I can count the positives on... How many limbs do I need to say that Zach Wilson somehow looked good in this game and Garrett Wilson is still Garrett Wilson? Uh, elbows, arms, legs, brain cells, because I probably only have two of them if I still, after, God, how long have I been here? How long ago was 2009? 14, oh my God, it was 14 years ago. Good God. This, (laughs) this has been 14 years that I've been here. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, I only have two brain cells. I can probably count on the brain cells that I have because I still cheer for this. God forsaken franchise. Um, the defense looked awful. They got walked like a dog from the minute the game started. And it was everything. The pass rush looked bad. Coverage looked bad. CJ Mosley made quite a few tackles. So did Quincy Williams. Um, there was another really bad roughing the passer call in this game, and as soon as that happened, I just got, like, PTSD flashbacks to the uh, John Franklin Myers play last year against the Patriots. You guys remember that? When the Jets were going to have a 14-point swing in the Patriots game, but then it was pass interference, or roughing the passer, and then it, it came back, and the Patriots got a touchdown going into halftime. You guys remember that? I remember that! I remember everything! I remember everything about this godforsaken franchise! Anyway, we're, we're, we're sticking to this game. Um, also, I didn't even think it should have been pass interference either time, but, you know... The Jets! And the officiating was bad, I'll say that. I thought the refs were not good in this game. But, uh, again, so many other things win against you. If this would have been a game you lose 30-27, to I might be willing to say, you know, fellas, this ain't on us. It's on the refs. The zebras were out to get us. But no amount of ref ball is going to make a 20-point separation. Unless they literally walk out in one of the quarters and say, By decree of Lord Refser the Fourth, we will be gifting 20 points to the Dallas Cowboys. Unless that were to happen, you're not getting 20 points stolen from you from ref ball. This was the fact that the Jets did get screwed on some calls. The Cowboys did get away with some, but also just being undisciplined and being unable to block anything offensively kind of aids into that. The defense was real bad. That's the obvious one. Um, Dallas has been able to just stop trying in both of the games they've played, which is kind of funny. And so the offense, we'll go to the Jets' offense. Well, that, that's a fun part to go to. Um, the running game was awful. I think Brees Hall got four touches. Now, did he get eaten alive on those four touches? Yes. But I... I I simply don't care and would very much appreciate to see you continue to feed the ball to Brees Hall. Since you wanted to go the running game in this, uh, the running game got nothing going. Um, The O-line, this might be the worst offensive line performance I've watched for the Jets, and that is saying something. Micah Parsons, man. I... His name's got to be right next to Woody Johnson on ownership for this team. I mean, he just... It looked like he was going through tissue paper the entire game. He blew up the run game. He blew up Wilson a bunch of times. It was unreal. And now we'll go to Zach Wilson. I'm going to say something that might make a lot of you actually try to check me into a psych ward. I thought Zach Wilson had a good game today. I understand that he threw three interceptions. I understand that he did not have 50% completion percentage. He made a lot of really, really nice throws, a lot of really, really good throws. He had... He 100% would have hit Garrett Wilson for a second touchdown in this game had his arm not just just got nicked at the very end of that throw. Totally would have dotted him up for a touchdown. The three picks came when they were in a insurmountable hole to climb out of. And he was just trying to throw stuff at a wall and pray to God it stuck. The third one was bad. I'm not going to say it wasn't. But again, he was trying to force it. This was not a 
Zach Wilson being able to, you know, think about his decision making. This was him just trying to force the ball downfield and drive it. The other two, just simply not on him. Especially the second one, uh, Garrett Wilson. God love him. Fantastic receiver. Going to be a star of this league. If he isn't already, I think he might be a star of this league already. But uh, what the hell was that? He just stopped running. Like, he was... He just looked and then stopped. That was a 50-50 ball all day. Garrett Wilson's a pretty good guy. Like, a pretty stout player. He could have jostled that away and just kind of didn't. Yeah, I thought Zach looked pretty good, all things considered. That touchdown that he had, you know, nice, just quick read. Zach Wilson's middle... Like, short-range passing. Not, like, super short, but, like, mid-range. Looked fantastic today. He had some beautifully thrown balls as well. A couple that were knocked away from pass interference that got called, but that one to Lazard was a freaking laser right to a spot where only he could get it, and if he wasn't literally getting so pass interfered with that it was... He was unable to use half of his limbs that, you know, you use for catching a football. Would have been a beautiful throw. He looked good. I'm excited to see him next week if the offensive line can actually block for him. I mean, my God, if this is what Aaron Rodgers did after one camp with him, I can't wait to see what Rodgers does sitting with him all year long. I got a lot of hope for Zach in this game. The play calling was awful. Uh, what was it, six rushes in a row on the second drive? Something of that equivalent? They just refused to... They refused to trust Zach throwing the ball until they dug themselves into a hole and then had to have him go out there and Brett Favre gunslinger it for any hope and prayer to win the game. And go figure, that isn't exactly a good formula. Last year, I asked a question of what came first, the chicken or the egg. Is the play calling bad because Zach Wilson's bad or is Zach Wilson bad because the play calling's bad? Today, we got to see that... This year, at least in this game, I felt the reason Zach didn't do as well as he could have. And I still think he did pretty damn well, all things considered. They just, they did not put him in a position to do well. He did as best as he possibly could. He should be very proud of the performance he put out. This is an incredible defense Dallas has put together. That defensive line is life-destroying. And I think there were positives. For the Jets and Zach Wilson. And now. I just. This is the lot that we have in life. We're like. Even when some things start to look okay. You lose by 20. That's the thing. Like people say. Oh it must be hell being a. No no no. It's not hell. It's not hell being a Jets fan. Hell. Indicates. That it is only bad. That there is nothing positive. That's the thing. That's the that's the worst part about being a Jets fan. We're not in hell. Because I could stand hell. We are in football purgatory. Where we always have a couple of games that give us hope. We always have a couple of players that give us hope. Or a couple of picks that give us hope. We're not in hell. Oh, no, 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 my friend. The Jets have never been in hell. But they have, for as long as I have been a fan, been stuck in purgatory. And now you look to next week. You're home for the Patriots. This is not just a game. This isn't just a rivalry game. This is a game against a team that has made you the little brother for 23 years. A team that has beaten you every time you've seen them since 2015. Can you comprehend that? You haven't beaten the Patriots since Eric Decker and Brandon Marshall were catching from the gunslinger known as Ryan Fitzpatrick. And why can't I think of his name? Oh my god, how can't I think of it? Chris Ivory was making Pro Bowls. That was the last time you beat the Patriots. So, I'm going to be mentally unwell for all of that game, and you guys get to see the aftermath of it. But until then, that game is at 1 o'clock next week.
in MetLife. So if you enjoyed the video because you are a Jets fan and this is the cathartic therapy that we desperately need as a fan base, or you're not a Jets fan and you just enjoy watching maybe Depressed, which, uh, I mean, fair, you should consider to like and subscribe and maybe share it around. That'd be cool and it'd make me a little bit happier and make me forget briefly about how miserable this team makes me anyway. I'll be here next week. So thank you all so very much for watching. Hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day. And as always, go Jets.